Meet Stephen Naryoff. Stephen states he's one of the people who helped lay the groundwork for Ethereum. He's a savant with over 40 patents in the AI and crypto sectors. When Ethereum was founded about a decade ago, Stephen Naryoff was talking to one of the heads of the Ethereum Foundation and declined what would today be considered a few billion dollars in Ether. Stephen Naryoff states his motivation for helping this Ethereum project and not wanting to be paid was due to him believing in the larger vision of a decentralized network that had the ability to help change the world for the greater good. In this document with a guy named Stefan Tuol, Chief Communications Officer, co-founder of Ethereum, about expense reimbursement, there was a payment for a large office space and Stephen did not ask for reimbursement. And then in January of 2018, a company called Consensus, a company founded by Joe Lubin's company and Stephen Naryoff, started to go on a public relations campaign against Stephen Naryoff with Evan Van Ness, an officer of Ethereum, claiming in an email newsletter that Stephen Naryoff is not a co-creator of Ethereum. In May of 2017, an individual named Simon Yu asked Stephen to do an ICO for a company called Storm X worth about 2.25 billion Ethereum. The government would later claim that Stephen extorted better terms, but emails showed that both sides had made mistakes in the first deal and it had to be redone. Then in September of 2019, the FBI obtained an arrest warrant, but not a search warrant. Stephen alleges the FBI put him in a van and told him, you're not going to see your kids for decades. They wanted information on the who's who in the crypto world. More nefarious and complicated, meet this man named Michael Haledi, who used the alias Michael Peters. Haledi was hired by Stephen Naryoff to be a consultant to him. Haledi had sent a message to the folks at Stormax saying that we're gonna sue you. Haledi also said he would, quote, destroy your community. It's a mystery who this man really is and why he involved himself with Stephen Naryoff in the first place. But he became a sort of agent provocateur, the argument goes, to cause issues that the government could then use against Stephen Naryoff. In May of 2018 at the Hilton Hotel in Manhattan, Steve Haledi and this other person, Ari Yu, held a meeting that was surreptitiously recorded. Now in the transcript here it says, I did not call threatening to destroy, but I do recall Michael Haledi did. And Michael Peters, AKA Michael Haledi said, yes, I did. Stephen was charged with extortion. The government said he forced them to negotiate the original deal. But the court eventually granted the government's motion to dismiss the case against Stephen. The government's goal, many in the crypto community now believe, was at any cost to capture a top figure in the crypto industry by putting pressure on this Stephen Nuryoff guy to turn over evidence about other leaders in the crypto industry. And we must ask ourselves why they would fabricate that crime. Could it be a conspiracy to monopolize crypto by the government on behalf of nefarious interests, as well as an unprecedented fraud of the public conducted by these same parties through crypto? In today's unpredictable world, it's all about being prepared for who knows what they have in store for the next pandemic. Our friends and supporters at The Wellness Company have designed this unique prescription-based medical emergency kit that is packed with eight potentially life-saving prescription-only medications, including z pact and Ivermectin. Save $45 per kit when you order using the code OMG. Go to twc.help omg today.